Welcome to the video. I'm going to show you some useful commands in Cubase and Keystrokes when it comes to adding selected tracks to folders, groups, effects channels, even VCAs. Here in the project, I have eight tracks, four for strings and four for brass. Most of the time, you might just create a folder, then drag and drop the tracks in, but there's a quicker way. If you right click on the selected tracks, Go to the Move Selected Tracks menu, then choose To New Folder. And hey presto, it's added your tracks into a new folder. Now there's a much quicker way to do this, by assigning this to a keystroke in the key commands window. So head over to the Edit menu at the top, then go to Key Commands, and you can filter through the list by typing Folder in the search field, and at the very bottom under the Project menu, you'll see the command Move selected tracks to new folder. There won't be a key assigned by default, so click where it says click here and assign your key. Now in Cubase, I like to use the MIDI remote for controlling things with my Stream Deck. And the reason for this is I don't have to worry about mapping any commands to keystrokes because it's using MIDI to trigger those commands. This next one will allow me to take these selected tracks and create an effects channel send for them. So with the track selected, right click, then go to the Add Track menu, and from here choose Effect Track to Selected Tracks. I can name this whatever I want, in this case, Strings Reverb, and we can even load a plugin on if we like. Now when I click Add Track, those selected tracks have now got a send created, all going to this new effects channel. Using the same process, we can select these tracks and also create a group channel for them. So going back to the Add Tracks menu, select Group Track to Selected Tracks. Then we can name the group Strings, and this means the outputs for our instruments are now set to the new group bus. And we can do the same with VCA faders. So with our track selected, go to Add Track, then VCA Track to Selected Tracks. This means now we have a single VCA fader, which can be used to control those tracks in different ways. And like we did earlier, we can assign these to key commands by going to the Edit menu, then Key Commands. In the search field, type out Add Track to filter through the list, and under the Mixer menu, you'll see those three commands ready to assign to your keystrokes. Now let's say you've already got a bunch of tracks in your project and you've got groups and effects channels, but you haven't got anything connected up to them. I'm going to show you some bulk actions that you can perform using a keystroke. So here, I'm gonna take the string instruments and assign them to the group. Now because I've been showing you the other stuff, it's not connected, so by default, any tracks you create will be always on the stereo output. Now to assign these instruments to the group, I'm going to hold alternate and shift, or command and shift, then select the group. This will then connect the outputs of our instrument tracks to that group. With the left channel mixer zone open in the project window, I can also assign a send to all these selected tracks, holding shift and alternate. And while holding, I can also turn them all on at the same time as you can see here. Another useful tip, if I select these tracks again and hold shift and alternate and do things like adjust the send level or the main volume or pan, it's going to apply that to all of those selected tracks at the same time, which is pretty useful. Now another really useful tip, let's say I want to replace the sampler for these instrument tracks with a different sampler with the track selected, if I navigate down to where, um, oh no, this is MIDI inputs, this is the wrong one, this one here, I've got sign player on. Let's say I want to replace this with contact. Holding shift and alternate and choosing contact means that it will replace the sampler for all of those selected tracks, like so. We can also do the same thing inside of the mixer. So for example, if I go ahead and select our string channels and turn on Q-Link at the top right, 
or hold alternate and shift, anything we do to these tracks will apply equally. For example, changing the output to our group. We can do other things like control the fader volume. We can control pan or connect the sends to our pre-existing effects channel we created, control their levels. We can even do things like insert plugins or remove plugins on a slot row. For example here, Pro Q4. And this is all with Q-Link active or holding shift and alternate on your keyboard. Now with Q-Link active, if we open up the channel settings, we can do the same things inside of here for your plugins and sends. So here, for example, I've added the send in and it's done it across those selected tracks. Another useful feature inside of the channel settings window is if you right click on an empty send and then go to add track to send, in this case, slot two, it'll create a new effects channel and assign the send to that channel. But the problem is with Q-Link active or even if you've already linked the channels, this won't apply to all of the selection, unfortunately. So maybe that can be updated by Steinberg because it would be pretty useful. Finally, I'm going to show you how to create link groups. So with your channel selected, right click on the channel, then go to link selected channels. You can name your group, in this case, strings, and do things like assign a VCA to control volume, or you can use link volume. But to be honest, I don't like using link volume because when you do make any changes, it will do this. Whereas with a VCA, it gives you more flexibility because you can control the individual volumes and also the relative volumes. To go back to the settings, click the drop down arrow, then go to edit link group settings. And from here, we can check and uncheck what settings we want to be linked together. So for example, if I want to link the pan, EQ, inserts, routing, and sends, then that means when I adjust the pan, it will do it the same for the other channels in the group. If we make any changes to EQ, it will apply it to all the channels at the same time. And we can also do things like load in plugins. But if we make any changes to those plugins, it's going to do the exact same thing across the other plugin instances, as you can see here. What I prefer to do is not link things like pan and inserts because you can always use Q-Link to load your plugins in on a row or use that shift and alternate command that I showed you. And that means then you can, let me just turn link off. There we go. And that means now that we can EQ these things independently and won't have them all use the same settings but maybe you want to work in that way. The choice is there. Anyway, that's it for now. I've probably missed some little details, but hopefully there's enough there to help out. Thanks for watching.